Hey guys, so I just wanted to jump on and let you guys know about the book that I recently created. Now this is a must have for all tarot enthusiasts. You're going to get 15 unique spreads as well as an area to journal your reading along with journaling prompts to ask your guides during the reading. Let me just show you a little preview. The book is published on Amazon and is available now. So if you're interested in purchasing this book, I'm going to leave the link below in the description box. So let's dive into your reading. Hello everyone and welcome in. So in this message, we are going to tap into the new moon energy that is going to peak on November 13th. And the moon will be in the sign of Scorpio on this day. And this will be a time to connect or reconnect with friends, family, loved ones that maybe you haven't talked to for some time or that you're feeling a distance from. This is also a great time when doors that were once closed open for a short period. So be sure to take advantage of those opportunities that are coming in. Now in this reading, we're going to look into what's coming in so you can be prepared for what's to come. So let's dive into the reading. All right, let's dive right into Scorpio's energy for this new moon. See what's coming in for you. Most important message here for Scorpio spirit, what my Scorpion friends need to know. What do they need to see through this upcoming new moon energy? Please and thank you. So what you're releasing at this time, Scorpio, the King of Cups, Nine of Cups, with the Empress. It's coming in is the Eight of Pentacles, the Star, Seven of Wands, the Outcome, the Lovers, the Knight of Cups. The Ten of Cups. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Two of Wands with Four of Swords. So there's a particular person in your life. At this point in time, you're at a distance with this person, Scorpio, but you feel a very intense connection. Right now, I feel like you're in the process of letting this person go, to be honest with you. It's like you've lost hope, to be honest with you. But I definitely feel here that this is going to come back around in divine timing. Okay, so let's just go through the motions. The King of Cups, the Nine of Cups, the Empress. The Empress is that divine feminine energy. The Nine of Cups is like happiness, wish fulfillment. So, and this is what you're releasing. So... At one point in time, Scorpio, your heart was set on this particular person no matter what. Now, you're moving forward from this. You're putting an end to all of this nonsense. And you're not waiting for this person. Okay? Which is going to, that energetic shift is going to initiate this person to come back into your environment. Now what's coming in currently for you, Scorpio, we have the Eight of Pentacles, we have the Star and the Seven of Wands, clarified by the Seven of Wands, the Two of Wands. So you're putting in a lot of work and effort into business, business venture or career, and this is going to be taking off for you. So nose to the grindstone, continue to put in the work, continue to put in the effort, getting clear on crystal clear on what it is that you want the outcome to look like will help you to manifest that into your reality. Now in the outcome, we see the lovers, the Knight of Cups, the Ten of Cups, this person comes back. And I would say within this next month, this person is going to come back and initiate a conversation. But will you be ready for this? Will they be ready for this is what it's really going to boil down to. 
for some of you, for most of you, it's not the right time. It's not the right time. Either you, them, maybe both of you need to put in some time, some effort into some sort of business venture. Maybe this is your personal path. Putting in the inner work to heal. Scorpio, this person is going to come back into your life. There's going to be apology, emotional conversation. But I will say this, and some of you may not believe me may fall back right back into line with that person but the timing isn't right yet the timing isn't right so let's pull a few cards out for your spiritual advice take some time make sure that you're in alignment with what it is that you want your future to look like financially career-wise when this person comes back in, they're coming back in from a hurt perspective. Maybe they've just currently released a person out of their life and you don't want to get caught up in the chaos. You're being told this message, Scorpio, to be able to protect your energy. It's up to you to trust that. So we have the Six of Wands, the Magician, the Nine of Swords, the Chariot. You're really up in your head overthinking, overanalyzing the outcome with this person when they come back. And because it took so long for them to come back into your presence, you may feel like this may be the last shot. It's not. For those of you that this is a twin flame, it's not. For those of you that this is a soulmate, it's not. It's not the last time that they'll come back into your life. Okay. I also feel like taking things slow, keeping things on a friendly level will ease that anxiety. Trust that you both still have healing in order for this to work, in order for this to manifest appropriately. I do feel like there is going to be an emotional expression here. So just being open to that conversation with the understanding that you both aren't ready. Bottom of the deck, we have freedom. We have thought, we have expression, we have listening. So again, being open to that conversation with the understanding that you both aren't ready. You need to focus on business. They need to focus on business, whatever that means to you, whatever that means to them. That's where the focus needs to be through this new moon. So Scorpio. I feel like that's a good solid message coming out for you guys. Thank you guys again for all the love and the support. And I look forward to reading your cards again soon. Namaste.